My name is Maria Hall. I'm Managing Director for Embedded Artists. I'm proud to present the first Android Open Accessory Application Kit built around an ARM processor, NXP's LPC1769. The application kit has been developed in close cooperation with NXP and makes it very easy to get started with Android Open Accessory development. When you receive the Android Open Accessory Application Kit, you find the Android Open Accessory Board and a USB-A to USB-B cable included in the package. You can then download a lot of useful information from our support pages like the user's manual, schematics, several demo applications and other useful information. The board is divided into three major parts. The Android Open Accessory with NXP's LPC1769, a CAN node with LPC11C24 and a prototype area for your own experiments. The board also contains an onboard CAN network. The two LPC processors communicate over the CAN network. The CAN node can also be separated easily if there is a need for that. The LPC1769 side contains NXP's LPC1769 ARM Cortex-M3 microcontroller with a lot of memory. There is 64KB internal SRAM and 512KB internal flash. There is a USB host interface for Android connection. There are several communication interfaces, Ethernet, CAN, interfaces for NXP's RF module and for DG's XP RF module. There are many IOs and peripherals, two RGB LEDs, two push buttons, trimming potentiometer, eight protective inputs outputs, four open collector outputs. All three LPC1769 pins are available on expansion connector. The board is powered via USB power plug or 5V external supply and there is a debug interface. The LPC11 C24 side contains NXP's LPC11 C24 ARM Cortex M0 microcontroller with 8KB internal SRAM, 32KB internal flash and integrated CAN transceiver. There is an RGB LED, push button, temperature sensor, light sensor. The board is powered via CAN interface and all relevant LPC11 C24 pins are available on expansion connectors. And then there is a debug interface. Together with NXP's LPC Expresso IDE and the LPC Link, you have a complete development environment for developing your Android accessory. Three demos have been developed, one basic and two where the network-centric design is explored. To learn more about how to get started with these demos, check out our other Android Open Accessory presentations. Thanks for watching this video. For more information about our Android Open Accessory application kit, please visit our website.